What's going on guys, it's JK Flash and I've moved a little bit. I'm not gonna normally sit here, but I've moved today. So I'm gonna actually show you on my Hackintosh how I edit my raw files on my EOS M and that's it, just show you the workflow and just bring you what I do. They said a lot of people asking me in the comments below like show us your workflow so I thought I would actually show you guys what I actually do and how I get that image to look like that from a 65 pound camera and I know loads of people keep telling me it's not 65 pounds it's loads more and I'm like okay but I paid 65 for mine that is it okay and I'm wearing gym wear you're probably thinking why is he wearing gym wear looks like I've got a thing it's my mic <laughs> okay so I'm wearing gym wear because I've started in this lockdown I got asked to do 5k run for heroes so since then I've just carried on doing the running so I'm in my gear looking proper proper but that's it <laughs> uh, yeah so let's jump into my screen and we can all see what I do and if you've got any comments please whoever's disliking my videos please don't dislike do you know what I mean like come on come on it hurt me. okay my son's currently singing Lion King you might hear that and my girlfriend's currently making dinner and in the household of four, it is so hard to get any time, any space to do these kind of videos. Like, let me show you, like, currently my son now is currently asleep. There you go. That's it. He's out of here. So, yeah. So, normally I would sit here. Let's get this sorted. Normally I would sit here and talk. But today I thought I'd sit a bit closer. But, yeah. Let's jump into it and we can see what I do. Okay guys, so we've jumped into my desktop. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to open up the MLV app. Obviously you have to insert your SD card also. And then from there, okay, I open up my SD card, go into the Canon footage, and then you can see MLV. Okay, so I'm gonna drag one clip in, and then we'll drag two clips in, you can, I think you can, you can actually drag loads and drag and drop. Yep, drag and drop loads. Okay, so from there, we're going to work with this image. So what I normally do when I'm in a Magic Lantern, Magic Lantern or MLV app, <coughs> when I'm in the MLV app, so what I normally do is, I look at the image. My first thing I always do is I go down to Profile Presets, select Alexa Log C. And then from there, I play with the gamma depending on the shot. So this shot is quite nice and exposed. So I'll bring it down a little bit. Then I also, this is from Zeke. So Zeke, hello Zeke, if you're watching. On his tutorial, he brings up his sharpening. So that's what I do here. And then that is it really. And then sometimes I, I will normally look into like um, fixing, uh, focus fixing dots, uh, bad pixels, stuff like that. But I normally leave that on, as you can see. Uh, bad pixel fixing auto and that's what I normally do unless you've got lines which you can obviously turn on turn off etc but that's it that's all I normally do sometimes I've been playing with the exposure but you can obviously do that in the editing software and today I'm going to use Final Cut so let's do that clip and then we'll do um, let's take this clip here same thing drag this down bring that to there bring up the sharpening Camera, bring that down a bit. Uh, exposure up slightly. Yep, that's fine. The, the obviously, it's Canon, so normally I think the temperatures and the colors of how it looks are normally perfect. Click on the gears, and then this is where it becomes 2.5K. So I normally upscale it. So this footage is actually 1080, but it's raw, 14 bit raw, and now I'm going to upscale it to 2.5K. So really been done. Um, yep, then I find my place that I'll just save it to my desktop, I'll save it to footage, and I'll put it in I'll put it in my YouTube videos. That's because I've already got them actual clips in the 2.5 folder. So I'm gonna export that. I'm gonna export them out now. So I'm running on a hackintosh, so I've got eight, eight cores, 16 threads, 32 gig of RAM. 
uh, SSD at 480 and a 4 gigabyte graphics card so it runs this footage pretty quick as you can see but from here I'll probably gonna speed it up for you guys so it's not as boring okay so we're done so I'll normally click out of here uh, quick about saving I don't know what saving settings go from there I'll open up my YouTube footage yeah, yeah, YouTube footage, and there we go, there's the two clips. So from here, I'll open up Final Cut. Um, just to let everyone know that I do use cross platforms, so I do use Premiere Pro, depending on who I'm working with. Uh, Final Cut normally for my YouTube videos, and when I'm actually at my day job, so I actually have a day job where I do videos, and they have the license to Final Cut. But as you know, I also use Blackmagic cameras, so I always use DaVinci Resolve when I shoot RAW. But just to let you guys know, like I do work across platforms. I do feel like there's benefits between all three. Like Final Cut, if you're on a Mac, it is fantastic. Just to just get, just to get workflow, you can get workflow done so quickly. Okay, so I need to rename this. I was actually going to start a wedding edit today, that's why it's called Wedding. But I'm waiting on some footage from Leo. And Leo, you can follow his channel. I'll put his link in the description below. So we'll call this the MLV app test. Okay, go from there. We'll make this full screen. Okay, so as you can see, I will bring my always normally put my clips there so you can just clip between like back and forth. Okay, so let's just drag these two clips in, drag it in. Okay, then what I normally do from here is I will open up my adjustment, <coughs> adjustment, adjustment layers. I'll take the large, so take the long, the large, the long, okay, drop some in. And then come off that, make it bigger again. And then I go to my LUTs, should be there. Custom LUTs. I drop it onto my adjustment layer, and then from there, I would normally pick a preset. So you're bringing some more presets now, but that many. Okay, this Ari Look Sony S Look, I think is great. It's one of my main ones I actually use. Um, I will put the link in the description below to that. And yeah, so as you can see, this is adjusting on the adjustment layer, but we don't want to do that. So we'll go back to reset it. You always adjust from the clip. So to me, it looks fine. It looks a bit squashed. So it looks a bit squashed. So what I normally do is take the X, scale X, and you can just stretch it out a little bit. Um, that looks a bit better, a bit more realistic. Where are some wax. <laughs> Okay, and then the same thing here on my girlfriend's face, on our eyes. I'll stretch her out a bit so you can make it look really fat. <laughs> there you go, you can look really skinny. Okay, we'll go back. Okay, there we go. So to me that looks fantastic. So yeah, so if we take if we take the preset off, take it off, put on, off and on. And I'll also I'll add sharpening to this. Only a tad, like you can go OTT, like if we go to like 80, then she looks like a cartoon. So when you play the clip back, it just looks like she's a cartoon. So normally I'd like 2.5, which is set out when you see as you edit, or maybe I'll push it to four. I've had a sharpening from the MLV app, and then I've also had a sharpening in post. So yeah, there we go. Okay, let's make it a bit bigger so you can see. Okay, so we've got this clip which I feel think looks a bit flat compared to my girlfriend. So yeah, it's still rendering, believe it or not. So yeah, so I'll always adjust the clip from the clip, not from the adjustment layer. Because when you do the adjustment layer, it will adjust everything. So we can go to that curve, the color wheels. We can just bring that back a bit. There we go. Bring the highlights down, turn it down, bring it down. 
There we go. This is where she's in focus. So there you can go, you see. And that is my edit. That's what I do. So obviously you do that for all clips. So it depends on how good you are at actually getting your exposure. So obviously if you're overexposed, you can probably bring it back. If you don't, if you're not very good at exposure, if you're not very good at getting your exposure right, but try and get it as best as possible so you can just literally just get into the edit. It will save you time, save you effort. And then from there, what I would always do to share it is go to master file. And then this is set for 10 8 timeline. But, okay. Let's just show you how you make it 4K. I'm really sorry about that. So that's an 8 timeline. So I'll do file, new project, call it MLV 4K. So open this up, hit 4K, 24 frames. And to get to this, you have to go to custom. So when you first get into it, if you are new to Final Cut, it will show you as this. You hit use custom, then you can use the custom. Then OK. So even if you make a mistake like I've just done, like you can still go back to your original edit, so 4K test, you can copy, so Command C, and then you can just hit MLV4, MLV 4K, and then Command V, it should drop the footage up. There we go. So now we're in a 4K timeline, and then obviously when you export that, you'll get a 4K video. So from there, I normally go to File, Share. Master file settings set for MP4 and then better quality and then 4K Ultra HD basically. And I hit next. Save. I always save to my desktop so I can easily find it when I go to upload to YouTube. And that's it, guys. That is just that is my workflow. So obviously I have a lot more clips, so it takes a lot more time to actually get it done. But yeah, I just hit the adjustment layer, sort the uh, just tweak it a little bit, the adjustments, and that's it. And then obviously you can do it at 1080 timeline or 4K. The rest obviously is 2.5K footage. So it looks amazing. It looks so clean on YouTube. So yeah, hope you guys liked it. So please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below if you want anything. But that is my workflow to using MLV app and then put it into Final Cut. And that is it. So I might actually try and put these raw clips into Premiere for my next test and see how we get on. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more.